So today I am investigating a DIY hack that I found a couple of videos on YouTube about this and it's basically to do with reducing the wind noise when I'm recording outside. So I had a couple of videos recently where the wind was particularly bad and I kind of looked into whether my PowerDirect software had anything that might help with that and it had um, an AI wind reducer and I tried it and the first time I thought well, actually that works pretty well actually but you have to do the settings yourself so if you don't get them right it doesn't sound right and I've listened back a couple of times to to those pieces that I edited and they're edited and they're up now so they're staying as they are and I'm now not happy with them I need a better solution to this than having to go in and edit all of the um, all of the video that I do and it may be that this hack only works where I am say recording scenery and not talking I need to experiment with this so what I'm looking at today there are two ways of doing this the first one is to use headphones so I had these new boxed headphones from when I bought my last phone and I forgot I even had them. So they are proper Samsung and they've got the microphone on here. And I've never used one of these. But I could use it just as a headphone and, and not use the actual uh, the headphones themselves. Because I don't really like using that when I'm walking around. I like to really hear what's going on around me. However, somebody who is a very seasoned... Uh, car camper um, did a, a hack about how you can reduce or almost entirely remove wind noise using one of these and what you need to do is get a bit of fur so I've got randomly I don't know why I've got a bunch of pom-poms I think these have come off like coat toggles or like hats uh, I don't know where I picked these up from, heaven knows. And what I'm going to do, so what this chap had done, he had taken a child's toy that had hair, it was like a, a gonk, and he cut a bit of it off, sewed it into a cylinder, and basically inserted it over where the microphone is. And then when you have the microphone attached or whatever, however you wear it, it reduces the wind noise. And he showed the with and without using it. And it seemed really good. He wasn't talking to camera with it, but for when you're doing scenery and it's very windy, it seemed absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just looking for the seam inside this one. I'm going to try and take apart one of these um, pom-poms and use this and make a little windshield so to speak I don't know how to get into this I can't find the seam I'm just going to randomly hack away at this it's just a little bit of fun now I know that they call these when you have them attached to the lapel mics they call them dead cats which is rather sad uh, mine is going to be a dead something else. I don't know what. I think mine's going to be look like roadkill. Um, but I'm just going to make my way into this. Get in there. There's the innards. It's just like a stuffed ball of fake fur, really. But there's no reason why. Having looked online and looked at the little mufflers you can buy, I would say that this would do the same job. Right, there's the innards. Now I have what is basically a flat piece of faux fur. And there are bits everywhere. Oh my goodness. Great, so all I'm going to do now is make a little cylinder. 
So, I'm going to move you down so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see what I'm getting up to. Uh, let's get another pair of scissors. So it doesn't need to be particularly big. Let's find our microphone. So it's just something, see that length is perfect for that. If I cut along there, or even this way around, just cut there to there, and then sew those edges together, slide that on, and that should do the job. So, let's cut a length of this out. Bits everywhere. And all I'm going to do now is literally just sew that raw edge together like that. Let's get rid of these bits because they're going to end up everywhere. I have a needle with some thread already ready to go. literally just gonna and this is really a rough experiment because I don't know if this is actually going to work for me um, there's no point in making a massive fuss about it but if it does work then I may make a better version or even invest in one for now this is all just a bit of a game and normally I don't use a mic when I'm recording anyway with my phone um, I experimented with it not so long ago with another pair of headphones which were also Samsung but they were a very old pair of Samsung and I thought the sound quality was worse than me just just talking at the phone bearing in mind I've got a very old phone I mean it's a 2019 well it's a 2016 Galaxy Ace J3 that I haven't used since 2019 and probably hasn't had a software update since about 2018 because I keep my phones until they drop but you tend not to get any software updates after a couple of years because what they want you to do is to buy a new phone and I keep them until the apps don't work anymore and it's usually the banking apps which go first which is why I had to upgrade from from this phone because the banking apps um, just weren't doing updates for my model anymore and it meant that I couldn't do my online banking which is really important for me got a knot in my thread let's get rid of that Right, there we are. That's my version of a dead cat. So there's a little channel in there somewhere, so I'm going to thread it from the jack end. And hopefully I can feed it through. looks a bit oversized but again this is only an experiment
I may need to do something about this end. Um, but for now, at least I can experiment with this, take this out in a in a windy day and see what happens. I wonder if this even works. I'm just going to experiment with that with my other mobile phone and see if I can even hear anything. So give me a sec, I'll be back. Okay, so you can hear my voice through it. You do have to get it up quite close, so I think it's going to have to like hang like that sort of thing. And I think there's enough lead on there for me to be able to record, because normally I'd walk around with it if I was doing something out and about and it was windy. I'd be holding my phone and doing this, so it doesn't need to be longer than my arm anyway. So I would imagine something like this... Um, do the job I'm only going to need it for windy days and if I'm out recording scenery I wouldn't even need it on me like that anyway because as long as it's blocking the wind from the microphone that's fine so that's one way I can experiment with it the other hack that I saw is involved well it involves buying the old-fashioned sponge hair rollers that you used to get for rolling hair and you can buy them for a couple of quid and I have got them on my list to buy but I thought I suddenly thought to myself well it's just sponge isn't it so old bath sponge and what you would normally do is you take a hair roller you'd split it down the middle where the hole is where the the, the pin bit goes and then you literally fit it over the bottom of the phone and that little dot there if you can see that I don't know you can on this that little dot there is the microphone apparently uh, I have them at the top as well so I don't know whether it's on the top or the bottom I guess I'll soon find out so I've got this sponge and I think I'm going to do like a similar idea because this will be a good way to be able to carry it and move it around without being attached to a wire. And maybe I can use both methods. So it only really needs to cover where the microphone is. I'm not sure what end is the microphone. I've got two... I've got a hole on either end. Maybe they both work. I don't know. We'll soon find out. So all I'm going to do now is... a length like that that black fur is going to get everywhere if I cut a strip like this like so and then if I cut a groove how do I do that it's gonna have to Again, this is an experiment. If this works, I will buy the proper rollers and make a neater job of it. But there's no point in me buying something that doesn't actually work. People always do these things and say, oh, these are amazing hacks, try it. And they show you that it works and then you do it yourself. <laughs> it's absolute rubbish. So I don't want to waste my time on something that may not work. So there we go. There's a rather not quite so great version. So what you would do is basically... I need to cut a bigger groove in that, but that's basically how it would work. I mean, there are different ways you could do this depending on your phone as well. Not being entirely sure where the microphone is. And then theoretically, you would fit it on like that. And then you would talk through your phone. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see if this works, because you can still press the buttons through the sponge as well, which is quite handy. Let's talk into this and see what happens. So, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Does this work? Does this work? Can you hear me? So, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Does this work? Does this work? Can you hear me? So, you could still hear through it. It's all an experiment, and what I really need to do now is go out on a windy day 
and actually try both of these out. Find somewhere quiet to plot myself up, record some wind, record some of me speaking and see which one does or doesn't work. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I think that's my hack. So wait for a windy day and we'll go out and see what happens. This morning I'm going to pop out and see if I can test my new gadgets. Um, don't know how this is going to work. See, I think that's probably what I would do for the microphone. It's just a test. And then I've got this one as well, this bit of sponge. It looks... Yeah, it's, I think it's windy enough outside to do a test. I'm just going to walk around the block and just record with and without each of the new mufflers and talking and non-talking and get a full test run and we'll see what happens. So let's go outside. There's the wind. Can you still hear wind? I won't know any of this until I get back. Is this solution is this the solution to my problem? There's wind in the trees. Oh yes. I feel like that's suitably blowy. It's also a question of whether or not I can talk through it. That's why I'm doing multiple tests. I don't necessarily want gale force winds. Although that might happen. Because if this works, then I can go out up onto the moorlands like I did on that recent walk. And hopefully it won't sound as bad if I, even if I'm just doing a pan shot of a landscape. Instead of having to silence it or mute it right down and put music over the top or something. I might actually be able to hear the bird life. Right, so that's definitely wind. Okay. That mic out. I'm gonna get my bit of sponge now and do the same thing with that. Right, a bit of sponge is on. Is that doing the same job? Come on wind, do your thing.
be nice if you could hear the birds still. But I don't know if you can with this. The little sponge thing's actually quite good. Because I think the mic on this is on the opposite end of the the phone to the camera. So it comes right across the the side bit here. But I can still get to all the buttons as well, which are here. Like the, the stop record, the pause and the the flip the, the picture. So let's go home now and see what we have. Right, I've just taken that bit of sponge off. So let's let's go home and I'm gonna load this up to my software. We'll have a listen. sponge back on the walk back. Oh, shut up. Why do people have to play really, really loud music in their cars? No one wants to hear it. They do it late at night in the road outside mine. It's like properly loud. Anyway, I'm going to go go back in and we'll see what we can get out of this. So I would call that a successful test. Both those things worked. I'm really impressed with that. So a little bit of sponge on the end. Or a bit of faux fur wrapped around a microphone on a headset. No wind at all. And you could still hear me talking clearly. And you could still hear the birds. I'm really chuffed about that. I think I might have solved my problem without spending any money. Who needs to buy fancy microphones when, you know, you can just hunt around in your home and make things from scratch? Now that is a satisfying way to do things. I'd much rather do that than go onto Amazon or eBay and spend four, five, six, seven, God knows what quid on something that does exactly the same job. And now I have something that if, if it breaks or I lose that bit of sponge or something, um, I can get another one. And it's easy to, just easy to remake. I'm really chuffed about that. Success. I will link the videos, um, in the show notes to both the hacks that I tried for this um, I just like I think I just googled it and it came up with YouTube videos first of all because that's the place to go for DIY hacks and um, so if you're if you're in a similar situation you need to just if you don't have a headset like I happen to have a headset and I happen to have faux fur lying around because I'm a craft business um, but if the best thing you can do is get a bit of sponge, you can use an old bath sponge or the second hack suggests getting those rollers, hair rollers, the sponge ones with the little plastic pins that go in them. Uh, same job. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I love it. I love DIY and I love free hacks and I love YouTube. 